This video is brought to you by Greater Commons. Greater learning, greater opportunities, greater life. Visit us at greatercommons.com. All right, our last example here. And uh, we are working on code in Golang Web Dev at goes to 11. You want to find this code? We are in 00104628main.go. And uh, we're going to do an example here where we create a type person, typer, person struct. And this will have uh, a name. And it will also have um, prefs, which will be a slice of string. And, uh, and then down here at index, <coughs> we can create some people, some values of type person. P1 colon equal person bond and then a slice and a composite literal, right? So the slice of string and a composite literal, put the values right there. Yeah? Now, all of this is server side, so the people would only see the website output. They wouldn't be able to see this go text, would they? Yeah, no, this is all server side. So it all gets rendered and parsed and turned into HTML and text. So this is this is all your code. Nobody sees yeah, this. Oh. If they do see it, they have hacked your server. Why? I'm just thinking of using a true/false thing to hide things as a way of easily parsing code out without having to hash it out. Just like change value to false and it won't show up. Yeah. So here are people. Bond, money, penny. Who goes with this group in addition to Bond and money, penny? Q. Q. All right. Odd job. And so, uh, <laughs> Bond likes martinis, and he likes uh, the phrase "shaken, not stirred." And of course, he likes fast cars. And uh, <laughs> and intelligent women. Let's go with intelligence. And Money Penny likes Bond. <laughs> and a Q likes gadgets. And Bond. <laughs> and then we uh, could create a slice. So P's would be colon equal. Or I could do an XP slice of people, persons. And it's going to be a slice of person P1, P2, P3. And pass in XP. I'll let you reflect on that for a minute. Unnamed field initialization. Perhaps I've got this one, which is name. And then I have my slice of string. And that's my slice of string. And I don't need my trailing comma, though I can put it if I want on each of these. I don't know why it's unnamed. We'll see what I'm doing wrong. Love the compiler. It's going to blow up and tell me you blew it, and I'll be able to learn. Oh, it's fine. I don't know why my little editors tell me unnamed field initialization. It wants me to put in the field name like uh, that. See that little underline disappeared now in my editor, but you don't have to do that. All right, so when I get into my index.gohtml, <laughs> if there's data, I could keep that or not keep it, right? I'm going to now range over this data, and so I want to end that, and I can just move this up a level. That came up a long ways. I'm going to range over this data, and so I need to end that. And when I range over this data, I'm then going to have a, one of the people, a person. And when I have a person, I have access to the name field if it's capitalized. And so I need to, I'm just going to show this error because you're all going to make it. And you'll be like, what is going on? 
you would be looking at my code, and you'd be like, the code's just the same. So I'm going to show you this error, okay? So there's name, and then what else is in there? What name and uh, prefs, right? So now I could range over dot prefs, correct? And, and I could put out each of their prefs. And uh, I'll format this. Why isn't this code going to work? Yeah, because I need to, for something to be exported from the package, it needs to be capitalized. So we'll just run it and see it not working. And we are in 28 still. And nothing. Just welcome to our website. Refreshing there. But now if I make this name and prefs, those are now exported fields. And I didn't speak to any of those down here, so I don't need to change anything down here down there. I need to change this. I need to change this to match that. Now if I run it, close it, run it, run it. Easy. This was a good looking website in 1997 and powerful. Like, whoa, you built that? Oh my gosh. Like, this is not far away from getting you 400 million 20 years ago. I know, you need link tags. How many of you were still in diapers in 1997? Unbelievable. Awesome.